Hey guys, this is Scott Condit here with Offensive Group for the Armory Life. Today we're talking about civilian body armor that you can own. Now, body armor has existed in one form or another since man could command materials and textiles, whether he was forming leather into a tunic, making chain mail, all the way up to the modern body armor equivalents we have today, which include steel core armor, soft armor, synthetics, as well as ceramic armor. Now, the sale of body armor to the civilian sector has certainly seen an increase in the last 10 years. This is largely due to accessibility and affordability of armor. Now, the firearms community and those who are actively engaged in the shooting sports have found great benefit in owning armor. It's given them a lot of enhancements in the way of attaching accessories, mag pouches, and other items that make the shooting experience generally more enjoyable and opens up a wider range of training possibilities and scenarios. Throw in a year 2020 and you've seen a lot of political upheaval, you've seen a lot of social unrest, you've seen a lot of people generally taking their safety and self-sustaining practices into their own hands and that definitely includes armor. Now, before we overview some of the latest and greatest in body armor, I'd like to talk a little bit about the certifications and the ratings that body armor can get. Now, we've all heard the term bulletproof vest. Bulletproof is a misnomer. You fire a high enough caliber at any surface for a long enough period of time, it's going to give way. What we want to look for is an NIJ, or National Institute of Justice, rating on the armor that we're buying today. NIJ is the standard by which all commercially available body armor is rated by the National Institute of Justice for its stopping power. Now, for commercially available body armor, there are four classes that you want to be aware of. NIJ Level 3A armor is rated to protect up to and against 40 Smith & Wesson, up to 44 mag pistol caliber rounds. NIJ Level 3 will protect against 7.62x39 up to 7.62x51 M80 ball rifle rounds. NIJ Level 3 Plus will withstand 556 by 45 M855 to 30-06 JSP rifle rounds. NIJ Level 4 will protect against the black-tipped 30-06 M2 AP or armor piercing rounds. Now that we've overviewed the NIJ standards for commercially available body armor, let's actually take a look at a few pieces of kit. First up, we have Spartan Armor Systems 11 by 14 Flex Fused Core 3A rated soft armor, which is Spartan's proprietary version of pistol rated level 3A soft body armor. This armor features the trademark Flex Fused Core, proprietary to Spartan Armor Systems. This armor is soft, it's flexible, and extremely comfortable and easy to wear. When it comes to taking multiple hits, it's rated to stop up to six rounds. The soft armor can be used standalone, giving level 3A protection, or it can be used in conjunction with as a backer on any of the hard armor systems from Spartan for additional protection. Speaking of hard armor systems, Spartan Armor also offers level 3 plus Spartan AR-550 armor, the steel armor plate that affords level 3 plus protection, which defeats higher velocity threats. Spartan recognized the steel plate armor can also pose a potential for spalling or fragmentation upon bullet impact and the resulting projectiles can pose harm to the wearer and individuals nearby. Now, many plates use a standard truck bed liner type coating along the plate. However, to mitigate the possibility of spalling and testing a wide variety of bed liners, Kevlar sleeves, and urethane coating systems with mixed results, Spartan set out to create a superior coating. Spartan Armor Systems developed the specially formulated fragmentation mitigation coating called Encapsule Lock, which prevents or greatly minimizes the types of injuries you would see from spalling steel. Lastly, the Spartan Armor 3A rated wraparound tactical vest, which is constructed from 1000 denier material to be extremely durable and comfortable. It provides level 3A certified protection and the wraparound outer carrier is designed for extremely streamlined use in the field. This carrier can be used as a standard level 3A protection as it comes, or you can add an additional rifle rated ballistic insert up to a 10 by 12 plate for additional protection. This carrier is fully adjustable at the shoulders as well as the side closures. This is 511's TacTech plate carrier. It's an extremely high quality, 
lightweight and durable and comfortable plate carrier. Built with rugged lightweight 500D nylon, it features padded yoke straps, perforated mesh, front and back padded panels, and built-in airflow channels. This plate carrier does afford you a great range of motion and adjustability. It holds two ballistic armor plates in medium and large and includes a low profile drag strap on the back. It also features a single-handed quick release system that will allow you to dispatch with your armor should you need to. One of the greatest benefits to owning a plate carrier is the enhanced load bearing and modular capability. In short, you can attach and customize your carrier to include all sorts of accessories and gear, such as these double mag AR pouches, also by 511. Two other types of beneficial gear that aren't generally ballistic rated, but will protect your joints against bumps and hard impacts in the field, keeping you on the move, are elbow and knee pads. These are the XOK1 knee pads and elbow pads, also from 511. The knee pads here have a flat surface. This is great for providing a quick and stable, quiet shooting platform, even when you're on hard or uneven surfaces. And beneath the cap, under here, is EVA foam. That pad helps shock absorption and provides a little bit more protection for your knees. Another aspect I absolutely love about these guys is their strapping and securing system. The nylon adjustment straps when you're adjusting them on the fly are silent. And these guys, when you initially put them on, are extremely secure, easy to put on and to take off. Speaking of bumps and scrapes, you have to protect your melon when you're out in the field. First up, we have the Hardhead Veterans Tactical Helmet ATE Bump. This is the non-ballistic version of their ATE Ballistic Helmet. This is a lightweight polycarbonate blend, and it's constructed to weigh in at a mere 1.4 pounds. It's lightweight and modular, providing the ideal bump helmet for tactical helmet applications and search and rescue, not to mention recreational sports. The Hardhead Veterans packages all come with a number of inserts so you can customize the padding on the inside to fit the specifications and fit of your head. Next up is the Hardhead Veterans ATE Gen 2 Ballistic Helmet. Now, this guy offers a level 3A protection and is touted as the ideal ballistic helmet for law enforcement, military, and private security contractors. Now, the ATE weighs in at about three pounds. Hardhead Veterans has taken ear protection and personal comfort preferences into consideration, offering both above the ear or high cut design options for their discerning customers in the field. Taking it a step further, Hardhead Veterans has also released their face shield kit. This add-on provides blunt impact and ballistic fragmentation protection for your ATE ballistic helmet or the bump helmet. These mount directly to the M-lock slots on the side for a secure bolted connection to the tactical helmet. The kit does include a full face riot shield and a half face shooter shield that are interchangeable. What we're seeing here is the half face shooter shield. This allows you to swap them out depending on the environment or situation you may be entering. Now that you've shielded your outsides, let's talk about protecting your insides starting with your lungs. This is the TR2 tactical respirator from Protect the Fighter. This streamlined respirator is a fantastic training aid and general purpose breathing respirator that was designed for LEO and military training use operations. The key features of the TR2 include minimal cheek weld interference and a low riding seal that is eyewear compatible. 97% filter effectiveness at 0.3 microns and it has a very simple, easy to replace filter. This is also designed with medical grade silicone. It's extremely easy to wear, very comfortable, and does not interfere with those who have beards. Although it's not designed as a full-fledged gas mask for protection against gases or VOCs, the compact nature and generally effective level of protection afforded by the TR2 is ideal for civilians that train often and might want to include this piece of kit in their go bag, deploying it whenever they may find it necessary. Again, there are many body armor solutions and accessories available on the market today. My recommendation is you evaluate your personal needs and what scenarios you think you're most likely to encounter and let that inform your decision. Again, this is Scott Condit with Offensive Group here for the Armory Life. I'm excited to hear what you guys have tested and evaluated, what armor solutions you found to be available and useful, not only in your personal life, but in your professional careers. Leave comments on the thread and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe out there.